Hi, I'm Thomas Chase Jones, and we're still on diminished chords, the magical chord of the universe. This is it. So we talked about the resolution of uh, diminished chords, and so now diminished chords can be used as connecting chords. And that's how big bands uh, sort of write those sectional sweeping changes by connecting with the equal interval structure, the diminished chord. So if I'm if I'm in, in B, and here's a B major set, major ninth chord. It's a pretty chord, you know, it's just a Okay, that chord, these are the positions for this chord. The diminished chord will connect those, and this is what I mean. So I'm going to, in between each one of these, we'll put a diminished chord, okay? Here we go. This is a major, a major ninth, diminished, major ninth, diminished, major ninth, Diminished, major ninth. So, as a connecting chord, the diminished chord works beautifully, and it doesn't get in the way, and it doesn't because it's uh, an equal interval structure. It's not going to affect your soloing if you if if you have a major nine sound. It's not going to affect the tonality. It just enhances it. It kind of takes you out of it and resolves to it. And the soloist can play around in that tonality, and the diminished chords aren't going to bother them because they're used as passing tones. And uh, a lot of times, kind of mediocre solos sound better <laughs> when the guy's comping and putting those nice little changes. It almost sounds like uh, you intended to do something more than you did. Uh, so I hope you uh, learned something from the diminished chord and you spend a little time on it. Remember, there's a lot of information here. Uh, look on the diminished chord, how do you get the scales, practice those scales. and. We'll continue with this series, but right now there's enough to digest, and I hope you did not know a lot of this, this stuff.